Welcome back, it's Gavin here. For those who don't know me, I am an automation freelancer, an automation agency owner, and a certified Zapier expert. And obviously on this channel, I talk a lot about automation, how do you actually do automations, different opportunities to automate things in your business. But this video is coming from a slightly different perspective. You could say a hack or a mindset that I've carried with me uh, for a long time in my business and it's helped me massively in regards to grow my business and also just feeling like you're making um, an impact in the world and this thing is become a person of value so this is not my original idea and I heard this from someone named John Lee Dumas who runs a podcast called Entrepreneurs on Fire and he says he heard it via Albert Einstein who's much smarter than all of us and so there must be something there but Essentially, I've found this principle super helpful in my business and also I've created a template that all of you can copy and use going forward in your businesses or in your freelance businesses or just in general. That's going to be really beneficial in the impact that you make in the world and also ultimately how much money you can make, for example, if you are doing it in a business context. So becoming a person of value when it comes to business or just life. You don't always necessarily need to be the person who's solving a problem for someone. You don't need to be the person who is literally using your skills or your business service to solve their problem. You can be a person of value just by connecting someone with someone who can solve their problem. So let's say I don't do Facebook ads, for example. I do automation. That's my thing. And I have a friend or a client come to me saying, hey, I've got this problem with my business. I'm trying to run ads or it's not working. I could just be like, hey, sorry, I can't help. Or I can be like, hey, I know this really great dude or person who's been in the Facebook ad space for years. They work with the exact type of business you are. Do you want me to connect you? So even without being the person who's actually doing solving their problem directly, I'm still becoming a person of value by helping them solve that problem. I'm directing them. I'm making it easier for them to solve their problem. And if you can start to become known as that person who can even just connect someone with someone who can solve their problem, that is massively beneficial in regards to business and ultimately leads to a lot more money coming your way as well because people start to think about the things you've done for them in regards to referrals and things like that. Like in the last two weeks alone, I've had so many people say to me, thanks for that referral. I've got like a follow-up call with them. And it's like, who did I even refer them to? Like I can't even remember half these people I've referred to because I've done so many of them at this point. And then they're like, yeah, I met them. You connected us when you were back in Barcelona or whatever. And we've got a follow-up call now. I'm like, that's amazing. That was months ago. And now they're still in communication. Like it feels really, really good. And I'm going to show you quickly how I actually do this in my business, how I keep on top of this. And I'm going to give you all access to this template at the end of the video um, that you can start doing this in your business as well for yourselves. So I call this my Rolodex, my, my value network. You can call it whatever you want. And this is a Notion doc that I have put together. Obviously, I've kind of emptied it out so no one can see all my different names and emails and stuff like that. But this is how I keep track of my Rolodex of people, the people that I can refer others to, essentially. And you can see here, it's a simple database, but I build it up over time. So let's say I meet someone at a cafe or I see someone post in a Facebook group. I often say to them like, hey, um, I'm actually not looking for this right now, but I know a lot of my clients potentially do need these things at time. Or I just want to make sure I know someone who offers a service. If I run into a client, can we jump on a call? And I just learn more about their business. So if I meet, say, John Doe, for example, and they are based in Germany or something like that. I always put down the location just so I also know time zones because I deal if you can connect people in the same country. Like literally, I have uh, a friend who lives in London. He does fitness instruction and he was thinking about doing ads. I was like, oh, wow, I literally know this guy based in London who also does Facebook ads. Let me connect you to that. Like, that's even better if they're in the same location. And then obviously you have their email down to so you. Um, you don't have to kind of follow up or worry about that type of thing. And what I like to do is I like to put down the specialty tags. So if they specialize in Facebook ads, for example, great. If they do funnels, I'm not sure if I have funnels, but you can just add tags as you meet people and you go along. Usually what I do is I'll add a bit of a top level description so I don't have to go into the details to find out what they do. So it might say um, retargeting ads for for personal trainers or something. If it so happened that this is exactly what that person did. And then I don't always fill out the pricing, but if I have a rough idea, so it's like starts from 
500 a month or something, anything like that. And then if it's websites, I sometimes add links or if it's social media, I add links and things like that. And always good to know, to remember if you've worked with them or if they're a favorite, if you like really like them, they really jumped out to you. And then obviously you can add even more details if you open up the tab in Notion. So I add, when I'm having the call with them, oh, this is where I'll keep the meeting notes as well. Because then I can go in and make sure I understand what this person did, what this person offered and things like that. And then again, in this table, what I did is I just allow you to um, organize it by name, by country, by profession, which is the specialty tags, etc. So just all these different things is basically just build up this database of people who can give value to people you know. And when you become known as that person who knows someone for something, it's going to come back to you many, many times over. And it just feels damn good to be able to give to people in that way. And also in this Notion doc, I've got a the email template that I used. I think I got this from uh, someone named Ty Frankel. Um, he runs a great agency focused business. It's a little email format, just basically saying, hey, this is that person, that person, you guys can take it from there. And then also over just time for my own business, because I've obviously placed social media content creators into businesses, virtual assistants into businesses. I've hired automation people for myself, for my agency, even though I am an automation person. And I've built up questions over time that I always ask. So I leave these, I've got these also in the template, uh, just because obviously it helps people. And again, questions for automation people, just to make sure I'm asking the same questions over and over so I can get a good sense of that I am making sure I'm covering all the bases when I speak to people. So that is the quick introduction of my like uh, value network Rolodex approach to the world and just how to become a person of value. And honestly, if you do this consistently, this will 100% come back to you. Um, whether it comes back to you in three months time, six months time, nine months time, it doesn't matter. This will 100% bring thousands into your business if you do this consistently. And just feels damn good to become known as that person who knows someone for everything. I'm gonna leave it at that. You can uh, grab the link to this template in the bottom. You can copy it and start using it. Start becoming that person of value. Even if you aren't creating content, if you're just connecting people, again, you can become that person of value. And this is one thing I wish I'd started to do when I first became an automation freelancer, automation agency owner, or if you're just a general business owner watching this, you definitely go find this very, very beneficial to do and be consistent with.